a couple of months ago, I reported Grellner was reopening the case. No one has been charged. She told me she was going back to interview eyewitnesses again. That was back in January. Now she tells me she is handing the case over to a new prosecutor. The reason? A conflict of interest. Controversy continues to surround the death of Brandon Ellingson. ABC 17 News has reported numerous times on the mistakes and even allegations of negligence by Trooper Anthony Piercy, which led to Ellingson's drowning. Some of those include putting the wrong life vest on Ellingson, driving the boat at an excessive speed, and Piercy changing his account of what happened that day. Amanda Grellner, the Osage County prosecutor, was chosen to look at this case because of the Morgan County prosecutor's conflict of interest. But now, almost a year after Ellingson's death, Grellner is coming forward with her own conflict of interest. She said she didn't have time for an on-camera interview, but tells me this, quote, What I can tell you is that a conflict arose with some of the new information I was seeking and reviewing, which required that I remove myself from the case. She would not elaborate on the exact conflict. Matt Bowles, the lawyer for Ellingson's family, tells me today he nor Craig, Brandon's father, would be making a comment on this. In the meantime, Grellner says the judge will be appointing a new prosecutor. Soon, fresh eyes will look over hundreds of pages and hours of interviews and video to determine if Trooper Piercy should be charged for the death of Brandon Ellingson. Today, Grellner also told me she was very close to making her decision, but would not tell me what that decision was going to be or who may be the new prosecutor looking into this case. Thank you, Heather. The federal investigation into Ellingson's death is still underway. Well, today was